What's up, students? Welcome to a new English lesson from Sala of English. I'm Jessica, your teacher. I had a great question sent to me from Cesar. Let me see his last name. Viana. Thank you, Cesar. I don't know if I say your name right, because it's Caesar in English. It's easy. <laughs> But you ask me this. He says, hi, Jessica. I have a request. Can you make a video about the differences between shut and close? I know there is not a huge difference, but I need to have a clear, I need to have clear the concept. What he means, I need to have a clear concept of what they are. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. What is ver que shut y close? Los dos quieren decir más o menos cerrar. You probably already knew that. Shut is cerrar, closed, cerrar. But it gets tricky when we, when shut and close become phrasal verbs. When you add up, down, in, out, to close or to shut, cambia el significado, okay? Shut up, por ejemplo, tiene tres significados. Al menos. <laughs> Shut up quiere decir, por ejemplo, cerrar un edificio. Por ejemplo, um, we're shutting up the business at 9 o'clock tonight. Okay, that's to shut up, to close the doors. We're not open for business right now. Shut up also means encerrar. For example, if I took T-Bird and I put her in the bathroom, my dog, I would be shutting her up in the bathroom. That's me, but I'm not doing it. But that's an example of to shut up something, in this case, my puppy. And you probably already know this as well. Shut up is hacer callar. So, um, if I have the dog, outside barking, and it's barking, and it's barking, ladrando, and it's barking, I go outside and I say, be quiet, you know, be quiet. I come back inside and my mother asks, did you shut the dog up? Yeah, I shut the dog up, mama, I told it to be quiet. So, es hacer callar. Now, let's look at close up. También quiere decir cerrar un edificio. De como, you know, we're closing up at night. Not forever. Just tonight at nine o'clock. You know. And it also can mean cerrar un espacio. Okay, to close up a space. This is different. This is, for example, um, we, have, we have a hole here, the fireplace. Let's pretend my mother hates the fireplace, so she wants to close it up. She'll put more rocks and more mortar in there to close the hole up. And this is also, you can also think of this as, <laughs> I made it fall, I'm sorry. <laughs> You can also think of it as close, to close, to close up in. I forgot where I was going with the in there. I have no idea because I made it fall. Anyway, maybe I'll remember. <laughs> Next we have shut down. Shut down, quiero decir, por ejemplo, apagar una máquina. Like your computer, it says shut down your computer. Or you could tell me, oh, my computer shut down. Quiere decir que dejar de, it, it stopped working, dejar de funcionar. It stopped working, it shut down completely. Now, close down. Close down es diferente que, que shut down. Quiere decir clausurar <laughs> or cerrar un negocio. Y este cerrar un negocio, un negocio es que como mi restaurante, ya no lo tengo. Why? Because I closed it down completely. I couldn't do it because of my health. 
which is wonderful because now I'm back teaching English. I'm really happy that I closed the restaurant down. Next, to shut in is encerrar, to shut in, encerrar, like to surround. Where are we at? All right, close in, on. I keep doing that, goodness gracious. Okay, que la segunda vez. I'm a little silly for doing it, but if I do it a third time, then we can just call me stupid. <laughs> the first time you learn, the second time you think, oh shit, but the third time you think, God, I've really got to get my stuff together. <laughs> so, to close in on is rodear, like acercarse, to close in on like this. I'm closing in on the camera. Close in on is rodear, acercarse. Now, shut out. Dejar afuera. For example, I could um, shut someone out of my house. Imagine me, I'm fighting with my boyfriend and I tell him, go away, and I lock the door, and he says, let me back in, let me back in. And I say, no, I shut you out. He's not getting back in because I shut him out. <laughs> All right. It also means rechazar, to shut out. It's, I don't have a good example of rechazar, but I think you understand it. And also, excluir, shut out, to excluir. Now, close out. Close out is different than shut out completely. Quiere decir liquidar, cancelar, o también dejar afuera. To close out. Stores have close outs. En este caso es un sustantivo. It's a close out. They're closing out. They're having a big sale so that they can close down, probably. <laughs> You can also close out your credit card accounts. You can cancel your credit card accounts. And you can close someone out. You can, uh, for example, dejar afuera, you can close them out. Um, por ejemplo, for example, my ex-husband closed me out of his heart. He didn't let me back into his heart. He closed me out of his heart. Okay. Pues esas son las diferencias, César, y para todos los demás. <laughs> son muchas. And I don't want you to learn them. No quiero que aprendas eso. Mm -mm. Solo creo que necesitas saber que shut y close quieren decir cerrar. ¿Y por qué te digo esto? Es porque los phrasal verbs, lo que tengo escrito aquí, no lo puedes ver, creo. Phrasal, phrasal verbs are complicated, son complicados, son demasiados. Yo creo que no, no deberías intentar aprenderlos. You should just pick them up. You should learn them. To pick up is to learn. You should pick them up naturally. And you pick them up naturally by listening and reading and being exposed to more English. So, that is the difference between <laughs> shut and close. Otra cosita más. Algunas personas creen que, uh, tienen la opinión que shut es el menos formal que close. Estoy de acuerdo. Y que shut a veces es más fuerte. Like, si te digo, un buen ejemplo de eso es, close your eyes para relajarte. Close your eyes to relax. Or shut your mouth. It's fuerte, no? This is nice. Close your eyes. Shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. Any more questions about shut up or, I mean, shut or close? Just let me know in the comment section below. And if you would, just take any one of these examples and write it in the comment section below. One example is shut and one example with clothes. All right, talk to y'all later.